<laughs> I remember being so self-conscious about being a vert skater. Like, oh, you're a vert skater. And it'd be like, well, you know, I skate parks and stuff too. I skate gym's ramp. I skate everything, you know? I fucking do a nose slide on a rail. No slide the on the rail we in the, the video eye. on accident, basically. <laughs> you know, like I just, I could do it on a ledge, so why not try to do it on a rail? You'd have those good days, like a front side nose sure. grind on a ledge or something. But the thing was, it wasn't what I was born to do. Like, the, I... I know that I was like, you know, you know what you're, you're of, of what feels right. Totally. And to me, vert just felt so right. I go through it all the time now that I'm a surfer because, because I, I shit it's you okay. not. No, okay. I shit you not, man. Like shit finds you, yeah. and that's the way life's that's, that's, supposed to work. That's how I feel. At certain, like I, I'm gonna fish one day, but now is not the time because it should happen probably when I'm like 60, right? Mm -hmm. Like. So shit finds you at certain times. And yeah. Vert found me right when I met Mike and Greg Carroll and would skate in Barcadero and stuff like that. But like doing the fucking rail slide through that little corner just wasn't that much fun to me. Yeah. Where learning slider to fakies on a vert ramp, like, whoa, you know, it was, it was so much fun. And I mean, Darren Everett always says it, but the adult swing set, you know, and maybe it's just like I'm a simpleton and I just like going no. back and forth. But to me, it was the speed and the sound and then fucking air. Yeah. Air. Yeah. What kid air, air without launch, because launch ramps, you know, I tweak a backside on the launch ramp. That shit hurt when you landed. Yeah. You know? It was even before I had one in my house. It was just like, I, I like the way this feels. Like, bass guitar versus fucking electric guitar, or whatever, you know? Like, hey man, I, I just like to do this. And that was, sure. as much as I tried to deny it, because trust me, there was days I woke up and I was like, I should just go to Embarcadero every day. You know, and then I go down to Embarcadero and it, it wasn't even personally my scene. You know, there, I was yeah. welcome there, but it was like, dude, I remember I wore shorts there with fucking long johns underneath because it yeah. was freezing in my mom's warehouse. And Mike Carroll goes, man, you vert skaters just love to wear shorts any opportunity. <laughs> I, was, I mean, my heart broke, dude. You're saying <laughs> that was cool. Yeah, yeah. but it was. Yeah. I, we went to the brown marble ledges like when no one skated them and you know, did a fucking front side board slide or whatever. I remember never feeling like a complete square with them, but it wasn't. It just yeah. wasn't my world. It yeah. wasn't. I just couldn't wait to get back to the vert ramp. I meet some dude on the street, which would happen. Some fucking other skater. Hey man, uh, where do you skate? Whoa, fuck. Should I even bring it up? No, I skate this vert ramp. But where is it? It's at my house. You have a, you know, it's at. Well, it's my mom's house. Oh, well, let's go skate it. Ah, uh, <laughs> you you can't come skate it. I was raised to be a loner, like. That's why I like motorcycles so much, because you're alone and it's fun and it's a rush and it's yours and you built it and, you know, they some once again they found me. Always wanted one. It was a theater in um, Iowa, I think, Thrasher's movie theater, the Thrasher's family theater. The Welcome to Oakland one was in front of this house, but yeah, the city backed over that sign and it chopped into the side of the house. So one day I came home and like a tomahawk, the fucking signs in the house. So I dragged it back here. So what was this place? Uh, old corner store, Oakland, Emeryville border, Joe's Family Market. Yeah, just like deli meats and... Yeah, you come here and get a sandwich. A Reuben. Yeah, Rube Dog. Yeah. I won't see There's those. every real board ever made. BS with TG and 4Q. Is that the original or the... That's OG, yeah. Fuck, in plastic, dude? Yeah, dude. And you hear that just scrape on grip tape as I, I pulled it out? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Nodis gave me this board. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one, dude. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of want to throw all these boards into the bay and be like, there's my skateboard <laughs> collection. Yeah. It's floating around. That, Do you want it? No. Come on, doggy. That's you. <laughs> what a, yeah, I know it's me. You know when photographers, they give you photos of yourself? I'm yeah, it's like, so ridiculous. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, you're a rad photographer. The last thing I want is a picture of me. Can you I yeah. trade it for the one yeah. of Neil or right, somebody, right. you know? So when do we start talking shit about Jim? I've never ridden a motorcycle. Oh, really? Ever. Definitely would need like six helmets. And you have all these people now that like are purveyors of the history. So they're like, I put up some clip totally. of me doing a backside smith and someone has an argument if it's a Monty grind or a backside smith and you're right. just like, fuck bro, you know, okay. like you got too much time on your hands. Yeah. I think Rick Howard prank called me once. Well, he prank called me once saying he was Jim Johnny from Skechers Shoes. <laughs> right when I like 
got a pay raise from Vans. It was awful, dude. Like, I can remember I was in my mom's house, and it's like, hey, this is uh, John uh, from Skechers Shoes. Oh, it was right after an X Games. And he's like, we just saw you got fourth in the X Games. Uh, how does $3,000 a month sound? And, you know, I was like, fuck, I want $3,000 a month so fucking bad compared to, like, 800 or whatever from Vans. And I was like, no, man, it's not really my gig. And he's like, come on, Max, we like what you're doing. We need a guy on the U-pipe, whatever. And I was like, God. Dude, and then, at, like, once I figured it out, I was like, how did I not know it? But he was so that guy, Yeah, you know? Like, I'm jealous you're skating up yeah. a hill, but, like... It's not a skateboard. I heard it weighs 80 pounds. Yeah, it has nothing yeah. to do with skateboarding. Right. Yeah. And someone invented that, and someone took years to come up L with that Lots thing. of money and time and energy and... Sorry. I, yeah. But when Julian or Mickey, you know, Mickey's the reason I did a no-handed kickflip on Vert because I saw him do one a third of the way up. It was beautiful. And I just thought like, oh, fuck, that's, that can be done. That should be yeah. done at the top. Yeah. But when those dudes came over, I'd be like this at home. Like, like just I'd hear for, the front waiting, door, waiting our front home. door squeaked. No you know, our front door squeak. And I'd be like, okay, they're there. Just play cool, play cool, play cool, play cool, play cool. Play cool. <laughs> Hide the Frampton Comes Alive album. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, come out of your room cool. Hey, guys. You know, like, <laughs> dude, that was the biggest deal. Julian, Brian Ferdinand, any of the, Noah. But that was my vert ramp. So I had to learn that thing that Sluggo never learned on that tour. Like, pace yourself. Yeah. Do some grinds. Mm -hmm. Do some slider to fakies. Yeah. Do that fakie hang up. And then when, you know, Julian blasts in India or something, like, yeah, man, I, I do India airs too. So I better wait like three runs. And then I can blast in Indy air, yeah. you know, and then I'm yeah. show them the Indy to fakie. Yeah. But you know, you're not trying to show off, but you're doing that you're thing. Sharing you're, yeah, you're sharing you're it. Yeah, you're like, hey man, so remember we saw each other on Backside Ninth the other day and I fucking slid on my derby coat like 60 feet? Well, <laughs> let me, well yeah, 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 this yeah. is why, because yeah. I'm into this. You're, yeah. Totally. Jason Jesse came over the one time, I was so fucking nervous, and I did a Backside Smith or Backside Tail Slide and slipped out. And I wedged myself under the wall. I mean, it was like a little two foot gap yeah. and I got stuck under the wall. And you know, Jason, like life's not serious like that. He's like, oh, do you need a hand? Uh, mm. And I'm like, no, I got it. And for like 15 minutes, <laughs> wiggle, shimmied. Yeah, dude, I had to shimmy backwards out from under the wall. Oh, man. But like anyone else that skated there was like, God, dude, you have two walls on either side of your ramp. But you're yeah. like, no, it doesn't matter. It's my vert ramp, yeah. you know? Yeah, you've no, all I mean, been you had it down. Like you would, you would redline that fucker yeah, because you always. had to. Yeah, of course. But I mean, it's like when you skate Burnside, you're like, this fucking thing is so gnarly. It's, so gnarly. it's like, what do you mean this thing's perfect? Yeah, it's when you when you localize anything, yeah. you get used to every single kink. Right. So I'm gonna go to so the walls. Speaking of the walls, how did Mark end up painting the mural? I was such a kook that always asked Mark for a painting. I, I you know, because like certain people had Mark's paintings. Sure. And I wanted. I just thought like if I'm. If I'm your friend, yeah, I well, have you guys to have are a cool. painting yeah, or whatever. So I had asked him for a painting, and then he said, well, if you want a painting, I want to paint your wall. Because he goes, I want to do a really big painting. So we went to the Home Depot and bought all those oops paints. Yeah. I went to sleep, woke up to the painting, That's and so that was that. fucking rad. Yeah. Yeah. Where and is, it, where's it now? There. It's in sheets, like, taken down. Okay. Yeah. I thought I was going to buy me a house one day. I was convinced. I was like, I'm the biggest Gons painting. And then I went to fucking Triple Rock or whatever, and I was like, oh, they got like two Mickey, of fucking paintings there. Mickey's pretty much blown it out yeah, for everybody. Yeah, totally. The best dude, the guy that wins those little things that I don't watch and all that shit. Like, you're just a dude with more money in his pocket. You know, you're not the dude that we all respect and love. No. I mean, that's the truth. The baddest dude who we all bow down to Mark Gonzalez, John Cardiel. I think about Anthony Van England because it's style and speed. But the dude that wins the thing, yeah. who fucking cares? Yeah. You ever been out You've with people and heard noodle. the board and tried not to all, look? All the yeah. time. Yeah, you're like, all the time. God, I hope it's a long border because I don't want to have to like look at the dude's shoes. Can I? I can't, yeah. <laughs> cannot. I have to look. Let's um, call Brian Schaefer. Okay, yeah. call Schaefer. Maybe it's his old number. Oh, you know what? It's coming from my phone. He probably won't answer it. What's up, fellas? How's it going, Max? Nice to see you. Good to see you. What's up, dude? What up, Tommy? We're doing the show right now, and I wanted you to begin telling the story of Shred Butt. Shred Butt? Yeah. 
red butt. I knew it was Max all along. <laughs> you did not know. Did you, did you really know it was Max all along, yes or no? Man, who else would put shred butt in there in the middle of the night? I know for a fact that Max was like under his tongue going, this ain't as cool as the vert ramp inside. Was that the first time you ever had like a ramp with like a major sponsor's name on it at, the, at Tampa? It was the day we sold out. It was the day you, <laughs> the day you sold out. So Max comes out and, and it was just huge Red Bull across the top of the ramp, right? Hold on. The whole thing was a painted oh. can. It was a can. Yeah. It was a opened up Red Bull can. So you get there and you see a can. I'm done. I'm not skating. <laughs> okay, tell, yeah. tell the story. Okay. So, Brian, sorry. I know you knew it was me, but not right away. You looked at my shoes. Okay, listen. <laughs> so it went like this. I tell Mickey, I say, hey, dude, I got an idea. Take me to the hardware store. That night before the contest, we go to the hardware store. We're already in tears. Mickey and I are in tears in the hardware store laughing. Two rollers, a can of red paint. We're going to go there at midnight or one. There's a dude sleeping on top of the ramp. Mickey pulls up the fence. I slide under. I pull up for the Mi Mickey. He can't get under the fence. <laughs> so I go in. Dude, I'm, I'm, I'm already like... Cringing, crying, laughing. Not at Brian, not at anything, but that I'm gonna make Red Bull say shred butt. <laughs> so I get the roller and I, how do you do that? Make an S and an H, yeah. that says shred, and just crop. Dude, by the time I got to the two L's, to cross the L's, I had, my shirt was wet from laughter. <laughs> And the dude started to wake up on the deck because on the other side, I was going to make it say red balls, <laughs> which you never got to. The whole time, there's vans, little van sprints, little size nines all over the ramp from the red paint. I go the next day, straight faced. Everyone already knows I'm not going to skate because, you know, I'm too cool for Red Bull. And Brian walks right up to me and he goes, how's it going? And Brian's always been a man. He's, he's never tough. He's never a boy. Yeah. I'm still kind of a boy in my whatever. And he looks at my shoes. <laughs> I changed my shoes. I threw those fucking, in, oh, I shit. threw the red shoes in the canal. And I poker faced it as your employees scraped with the razor blades. It, it held up the vert contest, which then I felt really bad. But shred bull, red butt. The funniest thing, it took us about an hour and a half to scrape off a few letters and everybody was so bummed. It was like the first debut of a major sponsor that given us the vert ramp. And here comes that grand moment. The curtains open. We get there to start the vert contest in the morning and there it is. Lo and behold, shred butt. <laughs> how, just how, how pissed at you were they? Like, well, like what were they saying to you? Well, it just so happened to be some ladies in the marketing department, so it was like, I don't understand who could do this. <laughs> needless to say, we were laughing the whole time. I had to scrape a little bit quicker because I'm just so damn good at the blue collar. And, uh, it held up the contest quite a bit, and um, it was a laugh of the century. You guys were holding your breath, and you wanted to tell me. You didn't confess until, like... Weeks or months after. I think 10 years, dude. I think years after. The evidence was clear. There was a nine and a half footprint across the flat bottom leading to your rental car the next morning. <laughs> Thanks, awesome. Brian. There you go, Brian. That's awesome. I think we tighten that up next time so you, you'll never get away with it. It's never say see you back in Tampa, Max. Yeah. Never say never. Dude, I didn't know the whole thing about the ladies being bummed. Like, did you know we did it? Of Mickey course I knew you okay. did it. We had I would never feel bad for that. I will never feel bad why, for why that. Why would you? Yeah. Know your knees, Max. How long does this take, by the way? Because I kind of have to take a piss. Will you pull the van over and let me piss for a second? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs>